Kick into the middle. Right by Howlett. So no flow in this match at all so far. Little chip back into the centre circle to Prismal. Now he kicks long. And that's a beautiful kick and Monfries has taken the mark. Lace out. Gives it off to McVeigh who from 53 metres goes for home into the goal square. Might have made it all the way. It has. Lesser team, so I know that's a barometer for them tonight is to keep up their tackle rate. Well, this man is a tackling machine when he's on. He needs to kick goals as well, which is what he does. Superior judgment of the ball in the air was able to get to the position. So he moved it on, unfortunately, trying to kick over the mountain, which was the hill. And he's able to lay it off to Hocking, who eases the kick to centre half forward. But well, he had Monfries in his targets, but how it got there first and then right up. Oh, I thought he might have put some hands in the back as well. You know, Jack Rewalt. You really paid the penalty most times. Paddy Ryder, as we discussed before the game, he and Hill, and it's seven between them last week. They look in good touch early as Ryder puts the Bombers' third goal on the ball. And it's going to Howlett, who's kicked one goal. This is his fifth game. Started well here, his fifth disposal, the 21 year old. Great angle. And he worked it out beautifully. What a start for the Bombers. Has been real value pick up. Oh, a beautiful tap from Ryder up high, but it was snared by Cousins. His handball's in effect. His Howlett again. Now Prismal. Davey starting this match well. Gives it off to Jetta. Squeezes the kick out towards goal. It is raining goals for Essendon. Against two big... Bomber Ruckman finally at least inserts them for the moment. And it's going to come out pretty quickly. Lonigan and Dempsey collaborating. And now McVeigh. Initiates another move forward from half back to Monfries. Moves it quickly again. Prismal sizes them up. Thinks that Davies not a bad option. And Hill again. Dexterity on the left for the big man. They've got six on the board. Only been going 20 minutes into the first quarter of this match as the Bombers work it forward again. Here's Tuck. Monfries won it back for Essendon. Off to Meltram. He finds some space. Oh, don't tell me it's another one. It is another goal. Seven to the Bombers. And as well as their play, it's already turning into an embarrassment for Richmond. Seeing him flying through the air. Lots of excitement to come for Essendon fans with Hurley and Gabbleton in years to come. There's Meyer over the top. Myers gets it away to Lonigan. Top of the goal square. Jetta waiting down. Monfries is in the mix as well. And Zaharakis is a goal kicking specialist when he's on. And he's on there. But, uh, to be honest, it didn't look like it did either. Usually those ones are paid. Here's Davy causing a bit of <laughs> chaos. He was giddy as he tried to find his way through. Quick kick at goal. He's bouncing and bouncing. And it's Myers! Great front! Vickery did well there. Zaharakis, Watson, creative with the hands. You could see him thinking ahead as to what was going to come. The Bombers to the wing with a bit of style. Ryder for Gumbleton. Jetta's trying to break free further. They're going to use Hocking on the way through. Jetta's still doing his work across the 50, putting Farmer under the pump. He kept his feet. Atkinson came to help out and Jenna's still going he's kicked by oh, the lovely centering cross is escorted through by Melsham Jenna kicks the goal or was it Melsham actually he did get booked to ball mm. Monfries I think it was down there ball to the hot spot picked up by Howlett in fact it was Prismal who was looking for before and the Bombers in the end pretty comfortably clear as Watson gets the handball received and he goes straight into the middle and finds Hurley Early off to Lonigan, switching kick, looking for Monfries in game 100. They'll get it in the end, and that's a wonderful handball, great vision. And finishing off is Lonigan. A too strong David V. Goliath. Sure was. Watson, nice handball to Davey, off to Stanton. 
chain of handballs ends up with Hurley and his kick finds Gavinton. Will he have a shot? And also drops it from a high point. Converting at 53% this year. Never looked like missing. But, uh, Oswald, Oswald that ends well. Bomber still might get possession here. Picked up by Hocking. Being pursued by Nason. Now Tuck to Martin. Back to King. First field. Good tackle by Jetta. Picked up by Hurley. And Hurley kicks the goal. The kid's hurt, but uh, he wants to stay out there. He's got a hobble and a limp up after that injury, but uh, he still wants to be part of it. Well done, son. You'll do that when you're 18, won't you, Rob? Oh, yeah. And why wouldn't you want to play here? Big crowd, big event, MCG. The Rising Star nominee from last week. Got an exciting future. Inside 50 go the Bombers. Jetta, clever little tap to Howlett. Back to Jetta. He's got Hill on in the pocket. And he's gone. Do you agree with me, uh, quarters? Essendon, a lot quicker in their forward 50? No question. <laughs> Surprised they didn't do it two or three years ago. <laughs> On his first month of football, but when you're 112 kilos coming back from a knee reconstruction, his last two or three weeks has been sensational. Oh, he's got it. That is arrogance from the big fella, but... Uh... So, Angus Monfries. In his 100th game, from 40 metres out, kicked the big goal last week. And that one sails through as well, Bombers by 47. And there are several Indigenous players in the Bombers lineup tonight. He'll get another crack here. Wow. Kicks back to Hocking. Who loads up with a raking left footer, and that's a good mark, and also excellent protection from Gubbleton. Just too easy, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Brent Stanton's kicked a goal this quarter. Down on his usual numbers. Well down, in fact. So, Stanton, that was his first goal of the match. And uh, he becomes the 14th individual goal kicker. The record, as a free kick goes Essendon's way, is 16 by Hawthorne, Essendon, Fremantle and West Coast. And push out, push out. Now, the door opens for Stanton. Happy to take advantage of that. Wasn't a great handball for Lonigan. Sets it up. And here's David Hill. He's already kicked two goals. That is magnificent contact. Three goals to David Hill. Hill and Ryder. Uh, after the first couple of rounds this season, so uh, it's been a real good run of form the last two or three weeks. Up to the 50 again. Hill, no, held out of it. Empire waves him on. And on McGorn has transferred the heat. Well done, Monfries. Lonigan's got the kick into the 50. Rhino was up, looking to repeat last year. The small men lick their lips. Howlett, Jetta, Ryder does it on his own. He goes solo and does it in style. Moore does what he does best with the spoil. Lonigan gives to Watson. Floating for Gambledon. He's got some runners on the inside. Love to see the run of Davy. Wendelhoff took a moment just to make sure he had it in his control. Make sure now that they don't give up an easy one. And the honour goes to David Zaharakis. 88,000 last night. Why wouldn't you want to come to the MCG? Nothing better. Lonigan. Tuck still working hard, but it's Essendon's night. And they have emerged as finals contenders. If they can keep this run going, they win tonight by 35 points.